Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Vlogmas day number 13. Today is the big day as you can see from the title and thumbnail. Today we are finally showing off our completed office tour. I haven't even really shown this place off much since we moved a couple months ago and before that I haven't done an office tour in a couple years now. So a lot has changed since the last tour. We grew a lot on the main channel Ace Pilot 2K7. The vlog channel is doing well. I'm so glad happy that you guys have been watching and enjoying the videos and leaving all um, so nice comments and stuff like that I really do appreciate all of the support I've been having so much fun with these vlogs it's different from what I normally do on the gaming channel and I just been having so much fun so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the office tour guys so um let's head to the other side of the office and then we're gonna come back in and go through everything so um, this is what the office looks like when you first come in. See, I got my desk over there. I have a full time over there. For those of you that was rocking with me since like 100K, you probably remember that from the last office tour. I had this for a really long time. It turned into a bed too. Um, two pillows on it. We got some stuff underneath it too. Uh, where should we start with first? You guys want to start with the computer and work our way around? I think we're going to do that. So. Um, yeah, you come into the office, uh, I have my YouTube box down there, that's where the plaque came in, I have a shredder over there. As you come around this way, you guys are going to see this is where I really enter my setup area. Green screen is on the bottom, so if I am live streaming, I could just go ahead and unbuckle this thing and I'll just show you guys how easy it is to put up. One hand. So if I'm about to stream, bam, got the green screen up. Use that when I'm live streaming. Streaming. I may start using it more when I'm recording videos from the gaming channel too. I'm not too sure yet. But we have that. I'm going to put that down. By the way, guys, if you see anything that you like, you want to look up more, or anything you want to purchase for yourself, I will link it down below in the video description where I got everything from. Um, over here. One of my accomplishments, I got to get a better view of this. So this is where we hit 100,000 subscribers. I was so excited that day. That was amazing. I got to say thank you to all of you guys. And before we know it, I'm going to add another zero. Oh, oh. Do you want to focus? There we go. We're going to add another zero to that. We're on the road to 1 million subscribers. We're almost up to 600K. We're still a long way off, but we're going to get there, though, guys. We got the best fans in the world. I love you guys so much, and we're going to get there together. Uh, down here, we have a little calendar board. I just got this, so I didn't even fill it in yet. As I was putting it up, I kind of accidentally erased that. I got to rewrite this out. Um, wifey put this up here, I guess. Uh, I don't know if she wants to. Let's just go ahead and erase that right there. We're going to erase that. <laughs> just kidding. Um, right here we have our gaming chair. So this is the E-Win Racing Gaming Chair. Very, very sturdy compared to my older one I had. This thing is heavy. It is solid. Like, it is good. The cushions are amazing. It feels very, very comfortable. I love this thing. Um, let's go ahead and sit in it. Now, once you come around over on this side, this is kind of like how everything looks from over here. Um, the light over there is the Elgato uh, key light, which is mounted. Let me just show you guys the desk area again. So, this is how the desk looks. I have everything clamped down. Gaming computer up there. This is a new computer we bought, and then that's my old computer I had for about five, almost six years. Um, I gotta fix some of these wires because I changed a couple of things. But we have the three monitor set up. This one isn't attached. I want to be able to attach it to this um, so that I don't need that stand anymore. I may just end up getting a new one eventually, though. But yep, three monitor set up there. As we come around. We have the keyboard, 
This first keyboard is for that computer down there on the bottom. That's my old computer. And this monitor is set up to that one. I used to use this for my live chat and stuff like that. But I changed everything around because my webcam used to sit here. But now I moved it over here. And also my... Um, green screens over here now it used to be up against this wall so I made some changes I may switch around the way I have the monitors connected but for now this goes to that this goes to that as well and then these two monitors over here goes to this mouse on the right and this keyboard on the right um, this keyboard is actually the one that came with that computer and this is just basic Amazon or Logitech wireless and then Amazon mouse there. Um, you guys also got to notice this one, the older computer still has our original Ace Pilot 2K7 logo right there. Actually, the same logo that we're rocking. We're still wearing the OG merch. <laughs> Shout out to everyone who has the OG merch. And then over on the new computer there, that one has the new logo. And we also have this monitor over here, which is also connected. And that has the new one as well. Up top, we have our um, webcam. This is the Logitech C920. Um, like I said, up there is the key light. Uh, down here, we have our stream deck. We have a lot of Elgato products, by the way, too. So this is the Elgato um, green screen. This is the Elgato stream deck and the Elgato key light. I do want to get another one of these lights because uh, for best performance, it's good to put like say one right here and then one right here and then that would like light me up perfectly balanced. So like the way I am now, I'm mostly balanced where the camera is, but like say if I turn or turn, sometimes it creates a shadow. So eventually I want to be able to have two lights so that I'll be super balanced, but those things are pretty pricey. So that's going to have to wait. One works perfectly fine for now. And I like it because I can also control it from my um, desktop here. So I can turn it on and off and I can also control it from the stream deck too. So I can turn it off with that button, I can turn it on. If I press this one over here, I have different settings, so I can make it brighter, I can make it darker, I can also make it colder and make it warmer. So very, very cool being able to control it from right there. Um, right here we have our Xbox One controller that we use for our PC game, most games that we play on the channel. Uh, right here we have Corsair headsets. I always use Logitech since I started gaming. I like the Logitechs. I broke like three of them though. And when I was ordering the one that I needed, um, it was out of stock. So I just tried the Corsair. These are really good too. I like both of them. Um, they both work really well. So you can't go wrong with either one, honestly. Uh, right here is just a bunch of junk. Um, we have some dry erase markers for writing on the board over there. Um, screwdriver this Pelican tool is very cool actually so this is from my friend the Magisterium one he gave me this I think it's a bottle opener but we use it for opening packages um, over here I just have some chargers and a bunch of miss stuff in here scrolling back over here we have our phone that is the iPhone XR screen protector is a little scratched up, but that's fine. Color for our camera, uh, battery charger for our camera. This is an extra web camera. Got this on Amazon. It's not that good, honestly, but I just use it as like a backup. So if I'm doing a stream and I want to have like a um, wheel camera view and a view of myself, I'll use that. Um, up here, got the AirPods. So if I ever want to listen to anything on my phone, sometimes what I do is I put an AirPod in one ear and then I'll put um, my headset on the other ear. Um, oh yeah, by the way too, these are wireless, which are really nice and they are RGB, so they light up different colors. Not really necessary, but it is cool. And it does have the um, microphone on it right there too. It's kind of cool because like, let me see, it's kind of hard to see. Is it a light? It lights up. Um, where is it? Yeah, there it is. So when I press the mute button, it lights up red, and then when you unmute, it's like that. So it's an easy way you can tell if you mute or not. I don't really use the microphone though, so it always stays up like this. 
because we use this for our microphone. So this is the Blue Yeti. I had this thing for a couple years now. It's been working really well. Uh, microphone arm, just a generic one off of Amazon. Um, here's our computer. So this is a new computer. This thing is a beast. Built this in August. I wish I could have waited a little bit, but the other computer was just starting to struggle. And I just really couldn't wait. If I could have waited, I could have probably had a better graphics card. I could have got like a, a 3070 or 3080 series, probably a 3080 series graphics card. But instead, I kind of had to rush that. It's a little dusty in there. I had to go in there and clean it up. So that is a GeForce RTX 2080 Super. This is an EVGA hybrid edition, which means it is air-cooled as well as water-cooled. Sorry for the reflections and the glare. But that's the water cooler there. So it actually pumps water through those lines there to cool it. Blows out the hot air and then it comes back over there. And then there's also fans on the bottom which helps cool it. Um, this one right here that is our processor. We have the AMD Ryzen 9 3900 X processor. That's a stock cooler on it. Works okay for now. May eventually upgrade it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see because of the reflection. I'm so sorry. The G Skill 32 gigabytes of RAM, so two sticks of 16 gigabytes um those are the main specs you have there we have some fans i'm gonna just turn this light off i feel like that's what's causing oh no a lot of the reflection is outside too so we have two fans up top um then you have the um cpu fan processor and we have three fans over on this side so basically the air comes in this way and it blows out the hot air up and it blows out that way very nice case um the case is the lian lee i believe lian lee 2 mesh something like that i'll link it in the video description has led life strips in here i could change the colors of these um it's just green right now i should change it to match my monitors maybe put blue or something um the inside is also not really set to a color it's just cycle in every single color right now every color combination but those are the main specs for the computer um i'll link everything else in the video description that i have in it but that's the main stuff right there um all right that's everything on the desk if we come down here we have two external hard drives so uh, one's a eight terabyte and one's i think a four terabyte something like that um, i use them for this computer because this computer didn't have as much memory um this one up here has a one shoot i forgot what it has it has a one tetrabyte solid state drive and a two tetrabyte hard drive so it has a lot of memory in there this one just had a 256 gigabyte solid state drive which isn't much at all and it had a one tetrabyte hard drive so this ran out of memory really fast which is why i had those external hard drives um but yeah this computer still works pretty well uh inside of this computer it's an asus g11 it came with a nvidia gtx 980 graphics card which has four gigabytes of memory versus this one up here, which is a RTX 2080 with, I believe, eight gigabytes of memory. So, I mean, megabytes, sorry. You guys know what I mean. I'm mixing it up with you guys. You guys know what I mean. You can kind of even see the graphics card in there, the GeForce. Um, this has 16 gigabytes of RAM and it has a Intel i7 processor, 6700K. Uh, down here, if you guys saw yesterday's video, we have the Aero. This is like a Wi-Fi mesh system. You run these around your house. You can run them wirelessly or wired with an Ethernet cable. And they just help out with your internet. So this computer, it doesn't receive a good signal of my internet, like my regular cable internet. So I'm trying out these mesh systems. Put one in here. There's one by the main router in the living room, and then there's one upstairs. And I'm gonna try it out and see. So far, they have been increasing the range. This computer is not no longer losing um, signal, which is perfect. Also, my light used to lose signal too. So sometimes when I was live streaming, I couldn't turn on my light because this connects to the Wi-Fi, and the Wi-Fi in the office it just drops in and out. The computer, on the other hand, never has a problem because the computer has an Ethernet cord which runs from the office 
down into the basement and or across the basement and it pops up here in the office and goes into the back of my computer um, so basically what I did with the Wi-Fi system I took it out of it I plugged that Ethernet cable into this so that this has a great signal now and then it has another port coming out that goes into the computer so my computer still has its signal eventually I may wire up another Ethernet cable for this I don't know but yeah, that's everything over on this side. Let's head over to the other side of the office now. Hopefully you guys are enjoying everything so far. If you are, make sure you guys hit that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new and hit that notification button. All right, let's check out this side. We still have a lot of fun things to show off and show you guys. So the futon again. Um, underneath here this is where <laughs> i keep my merchandise store <laughs> you know, Riley left a funny comment the other day <laughs> he's like you have so much merch gotta represent man so we have on this side just hoodies so ace pilot 2k7 og logos that's my newer hoodie this is my older hoodie i had this one for probably four years maybe longer i didn't know i had that for a long time um, this one's a little bit newer. It's also the same color as the shirt I have on too. A lot of people really like this color. Every time I wear this color, people are like, yo, I want to buy that right now. If you guys want to get some merch, it is linked down below in the video description. This side we have t-shirts. So I have the blue one that I have on right now. I have this purple one. Basically, whenever I'm like streaming or doing a video, I just put on one of these most of the time, you know? You gotta you gotta advertise, man. You gotta you gotta advertise your brand. So we got purple we got orange whatever color you want i got it don't worry i got it got the light blue got the red black gray navy blue this was my first piece of merch i ever got the navy blue um oh we got this one too with the um ace pilot 2k7 just as a line across this one is like over your top corner of the shirt and then we got this one here not many people even have this shirt here um the yo 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 shirt all right there from our original whole, uh intro so yeah that's that um we're gonna put this back together all right so that's that um over on this side i just have some extra equipment um this is my track IR system. So this is what I use when I'm playing American Truck Simulator or Flight Simulator. And say I want to look around in game. Basically the way it works, I'll show you guys real quick. So you got to have like a hat. There's two different ways. You can use a hat or you can use a, the one that has the clip for your headset. I don't have that one. I have the regular hat clip. So you put this clip onto your hat. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Up, 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 up. there we go so you put that onto your hat and then you put this receiver this goes on top of your monitor so now basically what happens is this receiver uh, can read where these uh, clips are where they're pointed these three clips so if I look this way it looks this way in game if I go that way it looks that way up down forward backward whatever I do this reads what I do and it makes the camera in the game do it. It's very cool. It makes you feel like you're in the game, like you're really driving or you're really flying a plane. Highly recommend you check that out. That is Track IR. Very, very cool stuff. Um, over here, Xbox 360 controller. I used to use this before I got the Xbox 360 controller. Um, these are what I use too. Um, I got these on Amazon too. I use these. I came in a package to run the wires underneath my desk. So before it used to be a mess. I had wires plugged into that outlet over there and wires all over the place. Now I have everything kind of neat. It's kind of messy over here because I had to fix a couple things. But like I have everything tied down really nicely. And underneath is where all the wires are ran and plugged in at. So it's not perfect but it's much better than it used to be and much safer too because with the kids they would like to pull the wires and stands and all that it was just crazy <laughs> i don't want them pulling wires and falling or anything falling on them and that's also why i wanted to get these monitor stands too so that i don't have to worry about the monitors falling or anything like that um so yeah these are really good for mountain 
they're called cable tie mounts and you can stick these on and then you can use the zip ties to run the wires very cool stuff uh, over here we have our GoPro Hero 7 very cool uh, if you want to I record something like you're riding a bike or if you you know going under water anything like that water sports very cool camera to have just other accessories for the GoPro and some chargers um, this is actually from my old microphone which broke I had the mic the Rode microphone micro which is really good um, I replaced it with the one that's on it now it seems to be okay as well and yeah that's basically everything in here now I'm going to push you guys down for a second because I have some more stuff under here yeah, that I'm going to show you. So hold on one minute. Okay, so under that side uh, we have all of our equipment we use for a flight simulator and American Truck Simulator and any other drive in our flying uh, games and simulator. So on the left we have a Thrustmaster line of products. We have the Thrustmaster TCA side stick Airbus edition. This thing is awesome. And then we also have this. These are the uh, Airbus throttles in the middle. And then these two are actually add-ons. So they clip on to the main piece and it becomes this one big unit. So you could buy just this piece in the middle which is going to have your throttle, engine on, engine off, engine starter or you could buy the add-ons to add on to that which gives you your flaps I mean I'm sorry it gives you your speed brakes it gives you your landing gear it gives you your auto brakes um, it also gives you flaps on this side rudder trim and parking brake this is all modeled after the Airbus A320 very cool looks just like the real thing feels amazing if you guys want to check that out i'll link it down below in the video description shout out to thrustmaster for actually giving me these too so i really do appreciate them we also have the rudder pedals right there and now for american truck simulator we have logitech uh, like i said i had a lot of logitech products back in the day i actually had a logitech um joystick before too but that one's in my garage now i think because i replaced it with this but still worked great so we have the uh, pedals here gas brake clutch uh, shifter and steering wheel this is the logitech i think it's the g920 i forgot it's the one that works for xbox and pc here's another version that works for pc and playstation and i think there's even a newer version now that for the I don't even know, I think for the newer consoles or whatever. So, um, yeah, guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of my office. Thank you guys so much for watching. Vlogmas day number 13. We are halfway through Vlogmas, guys. We are more than halfway through. Vlogmas is 25 days of vlogs in December vlogging up to Christmas I think most people stop after Christmas we may yeah I think I'm gonna stop after Christmas take a little break and then we'll come back with some more vlogs for the new year but guys make sure you subscribe if you um, aren't already make sure you guys hit that like button leave some comments down below turn on notifications we have new vlogs posting every single day during vlogmas and I'm gonna also put up the um, playlist so you guys can check out all the other vlogs that we have done so far 13 days of vlogs um, I have a lot of other exciting stuff coming soon so keep an eye out I'm gonna be doing some really really cool stuff so keep an eye out guys for real you guys are gonna probably like this especially if you're like a youtuber or content creator look out for what I have coming next but guys thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one peace